Ada kes bantuan di Malaysia melibatkan ahli politik Malaysia. Tetapi Malaysia tidak siasat. Sekarang satu negara lain sudah mula siasatan. Siapa ahli politik ini? Nama dia Datuk Seri Musa Ahmad, Ketua Menteri Sabah. Apa rasuah yang dia melakukan? Dia tuduhan adalah dia bagi mesin bawa ribuan ekar, ribuan hektar balak di Sabah dan kutip duit. Bukan satu juta, dua juta Lebih satu bilion ringgit Wang ringgit dia sudah ambil Sebagai rasuah Duit ini Dia masuk dalam bank di Singapura Di Hong Kong dan di Switzerland Nama bank di Switzerland Atau UPS UPS itu satu bank yang besar Di dunia Baru Empat kali dahulu uh, Seorang Buang terkenal di Switzerland Pertama Monica Roth Dia seorang profesor yang terkenal Dia sudah masuk satu aduan jenayah Criminal campaign Terhadap bank ini Tuduhan adalah Bank ini telah membenarkan Duit rasuah daripada Malaysia Duit usahaman Dimasuk dalam account bank di Sujanan Dan dia minta Perkara ini disiasat Jadi kita ada kes yang keluar Kes yang dibuat di Malaysia Aduan yang dibuat di SPRM Di Kuala Lumpur ditutup Tidak disiasat Sebab apa? Di blok Di alam oleh peguam negara Dan sehingga dipertah Tetapi Negara asing Switzerland Sudah menerima aduan Dan sekarang akan buat siasatan Kita tidak boleh teruskan macam ini Kita mahu kes rasuah di Malaysia Bersuah kita tak mahu rasuah Tapi kalau orang rasuah di Malaysia Kita mahu mereka disiasat Di Malaysia Kita mahu usaha aman dibawa ke mahkamah Di Malaysia Ya, Kita mahu mereka dibicarakan Dan kita mahu mereka dihukum Di Malaysia, betul? Betul But to do that Untuk mendapat itu kita mesti buat sesuatu sebelum itu Apakah itu? Kita mesti tukar Betul Kita mesti tukar Kita tak ada pilihan Kita mesti tukar kerja We have to change the government Jadi, tuan-tuan, puan-puan Saya akhir dengan ungkap satu, satu perkataan Mandarin Saya tahu semua faham Puala Puala Puan lah. Sekian terima kasih. Sia-sia. Dan terima kasih. Musa Aman uh, has evaded uh, in, uh, prosecution all these years. Uh, his uh, corruption in the case of Sabah for corrupt payments involving uh, timber concessions was exposed in 2008 when a close associate of his, Michael Chia, was arrested in Hong Kong carrying 16 million Sing dollars in cash and uh, the Hong Kong authorities started an investigation on corruption but now what we know is the Malaysian authorities in specifically Tan Sigani Patel blocked this investigation so that the Malaysian investigation couldn't go anywhere neither could the Hong Kong investigation but as I said earlier in my speech just now the Swiss uh, in Switzerland uh, a fresh complaint has been lodged by um, of a Swiss lawyer on behalf of a Swiss NGO uh, against the Swiss bank in which he placed his corrupt money. And uh, I think now, uh, even though it directly, it doesn't directly involve Musa Haman, but at least through this process, the Malaysian public will get to know the details, uh, get to know the truth of what is happening. This is ironic and sad that this is not French or Swiss money, this is our money, Malaysian public money that was corruptly paid our government refuses to investigate. Our government continues to protect the corrupt uh, leaders and politicians who are involved. But luckily, other countries are prepared at least to open up. This is why, uh, for me, it is very clear this situation cannot be allowed to continue uh, any longer. Uh, these indicators, the time for change has come. It is now or never. We must make this change. We must reform our institutions. And we must bring all those people who committed crimes 
टू जस्टिस इन मलेशिया